Welcome to Joburg Today, I'm Cara. Today we look at the cultural side of our beautiful city. We took a trip down to Newtown to see what it has to offer. We're here at Newtown to enjoy the Open Newtown Initiative, which is aimed at rejuvenating the art and cultural hub of Johannesburg. Let's take a look. Well, the Open Newtown Initiative came about because the Department of Arts and Culture had an open call to cultural organizations to put in a proposal for audience development for the Mzanzi Golden Economy. And Artist Proof Studio thought this would be a great opportunity to look at Newtown and the regeneration of Newtown. And we've got 40 or so partners coming together to really look at how we can take back Newtown. I think Newtown in many ways has been forgotten because of Bramfontein or Maboning precinct. And I think that the opportunity of the Junction Shopping Centre opening, there hasn't been a nice collaboration with the Newtown precinct users. And this we thought would be a great opportunity to introduce the public to some of the organisations that have been here for a very long time. The, at the Junction, there is a, a a craft exhibition and a visual arts exhibition. And what's wonderful is it's a fantastic opportunity for the whole family. There are demonstrations and crafts and fantastic uh, tables of all kinds of talent in Newtown. And then at Artist Proof Studio, there is an exhibition called The Open Chair, a tribute to Inclant, the late Inclant Lagnaba. Then there is a fantastic um, program at the baseline. It starts at four o'clock today and it carries on till eight o'clock. There's the marimba dancers, the marimba band from Hillbrow, there's musicians, there's collaborations between Vuyani Dance Theatre, Artist Proof Studio, there's uh, Mongezi Ngapai. So it's a really time for people to enjoy Newtown free of charge, to actually understand the celebration of the cultural gems in this in this area. I'm Riley Sagani Fosakwe for Joburg Today. Hello, my name's Case Kosana and you're watching Joburg Today. Like us on Facebook, joburgtoday.tv and follow us on Twitter at Joburg Today. If you're one of those people on the move, check us out on pockettv.mobi. That's pocket with an I. One of my favorite art galleries in Joburg is Circa, not only because I've had the privilege of performing there, but also, well, because it's free. Life and art are often seen as two sides of the same coin. And right here at the Circa Gallery, we get lost in the creative abyss of artists from all around. Circa is unbelievably unique. Um, firstly, it's now become an iconic landmark in Johannesburg because of its round shape or oval shape and the fins on the side of the, the building. But more importantly for art, the space actually can adapt to the artist's needs. So we have walls in the lower part of the gallery that can actually be moved up into the middle space of the gallery and be utilized either upstairs or downstairs at the same time. So it gives the artist some room to play with the building while they are thinking about what works to create for, for the building. It even extends so far not just performance art, but we often have um, concerts here and lectures and all sorts of things, um, video screenings, book launches. So it's really a multi-faceted building. Well, quality is always the main thing and the relevance of what is in the art at the moment. So what is the artist talking about um, and how is it affecting the, the people, you know, and can, can we relate to it? Whether it makes you upset or makes you happy, it doesn't matter, as long as it sort of evokes some kind of emotion. So our upcoming exhibitions, it's Lisa Grobler and her exhibition is called Playlist and she is basically doing these massive seven meter paintings for the middle of Circa that are actually going to be curved to the building's walls. She'll also be doing an installation piece in the middle of Circa. And then after that, we'll be having um, Tamlin Blake and she's done the most beautiful tapestries that she's um, made, that, that have been made out of material and newspaper print. 
So be sure to visit this gallery not only because of its beautiful building, but also because of the thought-provoking beauty that it houses. I'm Riley Sagani Posakwe for Joburg Today. My name is Kanja Aitz and you're watching Joburg Today. From free to, well, not so free, we explored Bubble Fest. So we are here at the second Bubble Festival in Johannesburg with beautiful faces and beautiful people, beautiful weather as well, keeping things all so bubbly. It is the biggest Bubbles Festival in Johannesburg. We've got over 20 MCCs as well as six French Champagne houses on board. Um, it's the only show where French Champagne and MCC is shown under one roof. There's a, a way about Bubbles. It's, it's sophisticated and it's elegant and it's beautiful. And I think that's what everyone feels when drinking it. Joburg is possibly the most stylish city that there is. And I think Bubbly just goes perfectly with good shoes and good brands. Piper Heisig is a French champagne. Uh, it's imported from France and we distribute it here in South Africa. Um, but our winemaker, Reishi Camus, has won um, the Winemakers Award uh, every year for the past 13 years. The actual champagne comes from a farm in a little town called Chingle Rosse. There's only seven people involved in the process from picking the grapes to, to the actual product that goes inside the bottle. The rosé will sell from the stores at, uh, at about 5,500 rand and the Blanc de Blanc at the same price. We also have magnums which range between 7,000 to uh, 10,000 rand and we have a, the three litres as well which sells for 25,000. Verve is trendy, chic and luxury. So those are the, the, the key factors of Verve. And we try to keep it in the daytime, and we try to keep it as a relaxed uh, champagne, you know, for the moment, for the time, not just for celebrating, but also just to have a more poised moment, and which is what Verve Clicquot is all about. Well, look, it is the Bubble Fest, and I thought, why not? I missed the last one. It's a beautiful summer day. Is it still summer? So I thought, let me come out and enjoy with Joe Burgers and have a little bit of champers. So this is uh, an authentic Christian Louboutin design, it's Perspex. It houses 20 milliliters of champagne in the sole and you drink it out the heel. And a lot of people think it's an ornament, it's not an ornament. It really is a champagne tasting glass. I've been introduced to this incredible French brand that I can't pronounce, but what I love about them is that they serve champagne from a Christian Louboutin glass. So I'm like, I can do this any day, you know what I mean? I just need to learn how to pronounce them. Listen, I'm loving this papa. I'm loving this Christian Louboutin inspired champagne, it's fun. Um, it's just a nice relaxed day out in Joburg. Um, it's a beautiful day and uh, great people. All the champagnes are great so far. There are a couple actually I haven't even heard of that I've seen. But um, I, I love the packaging of the Ace of Spades champagne. I'm Vitumela Ratapena for Joburg today. Hi, I'm Samantha Jessamine and you're watching Joburg today. For more, check out our playlist as well as business destination Joburg. That's it from me, Cara, and I leave you with Stepping Out by Samuel Miller. Back in ETV. So much to discover, oh, make sense of it, oh, oh. And on my back, no weight from another, feeling so free, just me and my lover, oh, make sense of it, oh. Let go, let 
they go oh, 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 oh. You step back, say you got a fear of rejection Your own worst and it means your own reflection oh, Make sense of it all oh. Why you scared? Don't let life slip by The same four walls, the same nine to five Oh no, make sense of it all oh. When you say don't go, please don't go away I'm not gone, I wasn't there in the first place When you try too hard and beauty has no space, so let go, let go. Mm-hmm. 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 